this is Gary G and I have Lorenzo White. How you doing, first of all? I'm doing fine, Gary. Now we're here, and this is January 1, yeah. New Year's 2023. Can you believe that? Yeah. So we're here for your induction into the Rose Bowl Hall of Fame. What does that mean to you? Man, it's, uh, it's special, you know, um, coming out here, you know, for the first time and being like one of the things that you dream about when you first, uh, I went into college at Michigan State, knowing that, hey, if you win your conference, you get to play in the biggest bowl um, that they have. And man, it's just an ultimate goal. Um, for me to, you know, to get inducted into the Hall of Fame, I mean, that's a, that's, it's, a it's a great honor. And that's something that, you know, I, I, I thank my teammates and my family, um, they appreciate that very well. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about you. We were just talking about you carrying 35 times in that game, and that's the third most in a Rose Bowl. Yeah, well, you know, you look back on that uh, at that time, um, it, it's third, but like right now, I don't think, you know, with what they're doing now, um, they're, they're not doing it. They're not carrying the ball that much. You know? right. So they're throwing a little bit more right now. What was the key to your success with carry that many times and the longevity of your career? I think my running style, you know, I did a lot of dodging all the way to the ground, you know, so I didn't really take that many hits, oh, you know, wow. so. Yeah, so you didn't engage. No, I, I mean, I was the engager. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what, doing what you did in, in, in the Rose Bowl, how has that impact in you going uh, in your post-college uh, career? Well, I think it, it, um, it impacted it because it was like pretty much like something that I, I kind of dreamed of, you know, when I first entered uh, Michigan State. Mm -hmm. um, that was like one of the goals that I set that I wanted to play in the Rose Bowl. Um, and the national championship, but I never got a chance to play in the national, ship, the national championship, but I did get a uh, chance to play in the Rose Bowl. So out of two, I got one. So. All right. <laughs> Talk about your professional career. What would you Well, I, I love my um, professional career because, you know, I lasted eight years. Um, I got hurt. Um, I got hurt. Um, I tore hamstrings. So that kind of limited me, you know, towards the end. But my, you know, professional career, I really liked that because, you know, in the beginning I had to, I had some obstacles that I had to, you know, that to hurdle over, and I got past those, you know, cleared those hurdles, and then after that, I, I mean, it was clear, um, clear sailing from that point. What would you tell to young players that are aspiring to reach the level and the pinnacles that you reach? What would your professional advice be to them? Set your goals high and work hard to obtain all the goals that you set. And the key to that is being able to work hard, you know, um, dedicate, it, uh, dedicate yourself to the sport. What was your inspiration? Did you have a model, did you have scripture? What, what is it that made you become as great as you had become? I think hard work. Hard you work. Know, Hard work and um, support family and mm -hmm. teammates. All right. Did you have a person person that inspired you, an athlete yeah, that? My, uh, my uncle did. That's one that kind of introduced me, Carl Golden. Uh -huh. um, just passed this year, and um, he was one of the ones that you know took me to his practices early, and so that the one that got me started. That's the one that got me started and got me on my way. All right, well, give a big shout out for this event today. Thank you. Hey, I'm glad, happy here to be here down here in Pasadena, California, going into the granddaddy of a mall bowl game, which is the Rose Bowl. So I'm here and I'm having a great time. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. All right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.